Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to the Chinese Entertainment Update, June 1st, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 693 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, A Date with the Future confirms its premiere date. Vin Zhang promises to jump into the sea if his drama broke 28,000 popularity points, and it did. Arthur Chen graduates from Beijing Film Academy. And Huang Xiaoming polishes off five cups of noodles in one sitting, or so he says. But first, your to-watch drama list may have gotten a little longer. Lots of activity going on with drama dates. Here's what's recently premiered, a whopping four dramas for today and yesterday, plus one confirmation and two rumored dates. We begin with To Ship Someone, a modern romance drama starring Theo Zhu and Lu Xiao. It premiered yesterday, May 31st. As Ai Chi explains, in the drama, he is a pessimistic novelist, and she an optimistic film and TV planner. The two get transported into a novel, and while in there, get into a tug of war of creating a happy ending and a bad one. To Ship Someone is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Ai Chi with English subs. Then there's The White Castle, a modern medical drama starring Peng Guan Ying and Tu Sung Yen. It premiered on May 31st as well. Peng Guan Ying is an emergency department attendant who eventually, with three others, form a group called the Four Masters of Emergency Medicine. The White Castle is slated for 40 episodes and is available on YouTube with auto-translated English subs. Then there's Where Dreams Begin, a retro drama starring Xiao Chan and Li Qing. It premiered earlier today. Set in the 70s, it follows Xiao Chan's character and his buddies as they take college entrance exams, go into business, go abroad, and enter politics. They also meet Li Qing's character, a girl who aspires to be a doctor. Where Dreams Begin had been rumored for a while to premiere on May 21st, and when the day came and went, it was anybody's guess when it would really premiere. Yesterday, however, they officially announced the May 31st date, and today you can find English sub episodes on WeTV. Lastly, for dramas that recently premiered, Beauty of Resilience, a costume drama starring Ju Jingyi and Fiction Guo. It premiered earlier today as well. In it, she is a phoenix reincarnate, and he the sun god. As Ai Chi explains, they go through hardships and finally break the destiny of how the Phoenix Nirvana will shake the three worlds and rewrite their own story together. Certainly one for Xianxia fans to check out, Beauty of Resilience is slated for 40 episodes and is available on Ai Chi Yi with English subs. On top of all the dramas that premiered yesterday and today, A Date with the Future announced their premiere date. A Date with the Future stars William Chan and Zhang Ronan. The modern drama released this poster yesterday to announce that it will air tomorrow, June 2nd. In it, he is a firefighter who, with the help of a rescue dog, rescued a young girl who was stuck in earthquake rubble. She is the girl, 10 years later, who has now become a journalist and an international dog trainer. The two reunite at the site of the rescue, but it isn't the most joyous of reunions initially. A Date with the Future is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Lastly, for the premiere date segment, a couple of rumored ones. Snow Eagle Lord, which shared this coming soon poster a couple of weeks ago, has a rumored premiere date. The costume drama starring Xu Kai and Guli Naja is rumored to premiere on June 10th. Another costume drama, Destined with Bai Jingting and Song Yi, is rumored to premiere in June. Word on social media is June 20th. I will update again if and when both these dramas announce something official. And that's it for dramas and premiere dates. Next up, a drama wrap to update on. There is a lover in my hometown stars Li Xian and Zhou Yitong. The modern romance drama wrapped recently to end their two and a half month shoot and yesterday shared these wrap photos of their two stars. They also shared these character posters to mark the occasion. 
There is a lover in my hometown is described as a healing drama, whereby a character experiences trauma of some kind, and then goes somewhere, usually a place where he or she can get in touch with nature, to heal. There is also usually a romance involved. And that makes it another healing drama for Li Xian. He's just coming off Meet Yourself, a healing drama with Crystal Liu that came out earlier this year. Zhou Yutong, on the other hand, last starred in a sports drama, this year's Nothing But You with Liu Wu. According to Douban, in There Is A Lover In My Hometown, Li Xian is a rebellious and lonely cosmetologist. Zhou Yutong is a brave medical salesperson who experienced a serious car accident. The two come to understand each other's struggles and heal each other with love. The drama will stream on Tencent. That's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and today we begin with Vin Zhang. On May 30th, the 30-year-old actor shared this photo of a champagne glass on a night at the beach type backdrop. He wrote a message to give thanks to everyone following his currently streaming drama, Here We Meet Again, and to all those who worked so hard on it. He also left the message, video of jumping into the sea has been arranged, don't worry. The story behind this is that Here We Meet Again, in which Vin stars with Janice Wu, recently broke 28,000 popularity points on Tencent. The drama shared this poster to mark the milestone. And apparently, Vin had promised to jump into the sea if the drama broke 28,000, so that's what that last bit of the message was referring to. Here is a video shot by Vin before the drama hit the milestone. He wanted to give fans a preview and to test the water, so to speak, in case he'd actually have to do it. Well, Vin, your fans are waiting. Next up, Arthur Chen was spotted taking graduation photos. Reportedly, the 23-year-old actor has graduated from Beijing Film Academy, the largest film school in Asia. He was spotted at the academy taking graduation photos. According to some who saw him, he looked relaxed as he was hanging out with his schoolmates and appeared to get along well with others. Here he is, all smiles. Here he is, fixing his graduation cap. In a recent interview, Arthur spoke about his perspective about being an actor. Sohu Entertainment quoted him as saying, As an actor, you need strong observation skills. You need to learn to observe the objects, scenery, people, and events around you. It is something I love to do in life. I'll take a small camera everywhere I go and take pictures. I'll record the scenery and the details of life along the way, and then I'll combine the clips together and do some editing. Before we get to our last celebrity update, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Lastly now for celebrity updates, here's a recent 8 days article I thought I'd share. Written by Einstein Lim, it's titled, Huang Xiaoming says he ate 5 bowls of cup noodles in one sitting. Shocked netizens want him to livestream himself eating as proof. Last week, Huang Xiaoming took to Weibo to share a picture of 5 cups of instant noodles, 4 of which were done with, one was just prepared. His caption read, Waiting for the plane at the airport, I couldn't resist and ate four instant noodles in one go. So tasty. Still one more to go. Should I finish it? A few minutes later, the 45-year-old actor shared this photo in the comment section of his earlier post, showing that the last cup was polished off. He wrote, finish the fifth one too, and added a laughing emoji. According to the 8 Days article, netizens were shocked, but many refused to believe that he was able to finish 5 cups of noodles in one sitting. Indeed, one netizen commented, Fellow like you finishing all that? I don't believe it, unless you livestreamed yourself eating the last one. To which Wang Xiaoming replied, Finished it already. Yikes, my blood sugar is rising. I'm dizzy. Still others were not convinced and requested a livestream of him eating as proof. Whether it was real or whether Huang Xiaoming just put those out there as a joke, five cups of instant noodles in one sitting is a lot. 
Personally, and I'm not proud of this, my record is two and a half with two eggs and milk tea. Sometimes when you want instant noodles, you just gotta have it. But you know why they call them instant noodles, right? Because you regret it instantly after. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was The Ingenious One with Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao. And the top TV drama was Warm and Sweet starring Victoria Song and Michelle Chen. I'm backing two new champions this week. Here we meet again with Janice Wu and Vin Zhang to be the top web drama. With it breaking 28,000 popularity points and all that, I think it's gonna be up there. And Gen Z with Wu Kang and Zhao Rusi to be the top TV drama. I think Prosecution Elite will give it a run for its money, but Prosecution Elite premiered on Monday, so it's short by one day's worth of points. So that's Here We Meet Again and Gen Z to be your new champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers!